Well, boys, what are we doing? This is time for a really cool knife. I, I kind of like going off-road. I don't know if you guys just got to see spider cone Benchmade every time or if it's okay to kind of go go outside the chalk lines. I, I'm a rebel, so I, I'm, I'm big for getting outside the chalk lines. And this baby here is District 9. This is exceeding the chalk lines for damn sure. Ah, I've done District 9 knives before. You might want to just go into YouTube and search like District 9 knives. You'll see Love Them Knives having done a couple of them. I didn't get that. What was that? Armageddon or something like that it was big, huge, crazy, but it was like 400 and some dollars. And I go, nah, nah. And I, there were some things on it I wasn't all that crazy about that I thought were overly gimmicky. This one, though, is called the Battle Flipper, uh, District 9 2020. So what's interesting about this, and I saw this picture, and God dang it, I couldn't find the damn thing again to, to show you for my, for my video. Doesn't that drive you crazy? I went through my stuff, and I went, ah, no, a guy sent me a picture. Okay, guy sent me a picture of this knife, but somebody had flamed this. So it's like hot vent gas, hot gases venting out, you know what I mean? And so this was like purplish, bluish, you know, because it was flamed, right? So it really looked cool. It was a really great effect. If you find that picture, send it to me, damn it. Because I want to send it to, um, oh God, now I can't remember his name. Wade, I think, uh, that that can uh, do flame anno. Um, and so this... See, you should flame that. If you're going to flame this, you got to flame that, I think. And then, you know, because if it's got holes, flame it. Uh, this is a really cool design. I like this. Now, you're looking, how do I open this pivot? Well, you can use a Torx right here. This is just decorative here, and I think it's, I think it's brass. I can't remember if it's copper or brass. I'll look, but... There it is. And then, of course, it's it's titanium hardware and it's anodized blue. And this, they give you the tool for this. So they did a proprietary fitment on the, on the pocket clip. But thinking about it, uh, that's probably okay. You know, it's probably okay because just a regular screw, hmm, I think this kicks it up a notch. I think it gives it some more, some more interest there. And then you've got these fullers running the full length. And then look at that reinforced tip. So it's a brutal tip here. See that? And this looks like a flat grind. And this looks like a hollow grind. And where? Okay. And this is M390. No, I haven't sent this off to my boy to do a PMI, but I PMI'd, I think that the one for 2018 or 2019, it was real M390, but I will get this one scanned, right? I'm not going to get it dimpled but for Rockwell, but I'm going to get it scanned just to make sure it is M390, and it says that right here, M390. Oh, it's got jimping on the flipper tab here. Flipper tab's not all that large. Check this, kind of a nice little landing zone for your finger. Backspacer. Well, it's not an integral, but it looks that way, doesn't it? And I have to admire the people that machine this and make it all come out right. I guess you have a jig and so everything, you know, comes together, but yeah. I, I didn't work in a machine shop long enough to pick up real tool and die skills but this is yeah this is really nice and these screws come through obviously from the back so the front you see any screws no not even this is and check the blade out any billboarding no no here they say this but it's not printed in black so it's you know at certain angles it's not so easy to see. Good. Oh, nice. Look at this. 
I mean, I like this. See how they've done this? That's nice. On both sides. And so everything looks pretty symmetrical. And the machining here, here, here. I mean, you just look at this thing. And there's, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work went into this. Uh, all these. You've got this jimping in here. There's your pass-through. Easy to disengage. Drop. And you know what? We need to talk about the weight. It's not that bad. See, some of these District 9 knives have been real heavy. Like 7 ounces, 8 ounces. I mean a bunch. And I don't mind heavy. But, I mean, if it makes sense. Because it kind of has to be. But uh, this was really nicely done. 5.4 at 154 grams. So you go there and then where's my little para two? I don't have a para three. This is the para three. So it's bigger than that. This is three and three quarter inch blade, eight and a half overall. So let me see if I got another knife out here. Oh yeah, well I got my paladin. My paladin's gonna be a little bit bigger. Not much though. Not much. Wow, paladin's a pretty good size knife. So, th pull the tape. I'll show you where I got it. And I'll show you who to talk to if you want one. Three and three quarter inches. So, 96, 97 uh, millimeters. Overall, eight and a half at 21 and a half centimeters. So, it's not that big. You know, it's not that big. Uh, let me pull my caliper here. Let's put it on the fat part. 0.58, 14.8. Let's see if I can grab a piece back here. Yeah, about the same back in here. Okay. Um, and uh, let me see if we get a blade stock reading here. 0.15 at... Yeah, 4 millimeters, huh? Okay. We're all there. 3.8, somewhere in there, right? So close to 4 millimeter blade stock. Like the fullers that run here the whole length. Um, you can't get, I can't get my finger in there to flip it on the fuller. I don't know if I can. Eh. No, no, I'm not. And, and if I have to struggle like that, it's not worth doing. But here you go. Uh, wow, let's talk about the detent. Ooh, baby, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, I had to get violent. I think my my left uh, my left vertebrae gave out. That yeah, that was that was pretty tough. It just doesn't feel like the detent is that strong, but I'm trying to fail it here. Oh, well, okay. Uh it's supposed to have MBRS, a so multi-row bearing system. So I'm not failing it. So it does hang pretty good with that detent ball. Uh, check this. So it's over the detent right there. So great fidget factor. Look at the look at the design flow. Really nice, and they're right up to the end here. You can touch that barely, but you can touch that. Of course, this with this integral look you can't touch the blade here and not much is ever going to be able to pass through here while it's in your pocket and interfere lanyard hole looks like it's right through that machined area as well we'll know more when we take it apart because we will take it apart i want to look at the pieces comes in this zipper pouch uh, so check it out i mean this is okay velcro patch I like it though. I think it's cool. Kind of a little bit like a Superman symbol or something like that on there. And then plastic. And oh, here you go. Let me let me pull the gear out. They don't give you a microfiber cloth. Wah, wah. Yeah. Got a billion of them now. Okay, so here you go. So this is interesting. See, there's your tool for the pocket clip. Okay, so they give you that. Then they give you a, they give you a full load, right? A full load of 
other pieces. There's your hardened steel insert, there's your pivot surround, but it's not in the brass or copper or whatever. It's just regular. So you can change that out and get away from that and just go regular tie in case maybe you want to anodize these. You know what I mean? And pull them and do something else. So, I mean, it gives you options. Let me see the other stuff. All the other screws look pretty good. And they're machine style screws. I believe they're number eights all the way through. And I'll be able to tell you here in a second. Yeah, so that's good. Now, the knife ain't cheap, okay? Now, I got this from a buddy, and here's his Instagram page. 9TIEDC. That's what I type in to get to him, okay? And I just hit this message, and then I say, how can I get that knife and that knife? But he's got a bunch of knives in his store, on AliExpress and of course there's the link to his store on AliExpress so I don't know if he really wants me to send a bunch of people his way but I don't he didn't say not to um, so it's 358 bucks but he gave me a break on this and on my uh, Midnight Cat Studio Zircon this is called the Zircon and I'll do a video on this this is nine inches overall but only 4.2 ounces it's a beautiful knife uh, i guess this is the one that is uh s110v so that'll be interesting as well but so i got, i always want to get more than one knife if i'm gonna go in and ask for dhl shipping so within two days of me paying him dhl gave me notice that they had received the package and five days later it was on my doorstep so that's pretty damn quick. That was seven days from the day I paid him to the day I received the two knives from China. Okay. Um, and this one is a dandy. This one is a dandy. It really is like the pocket clip. Uh, I, you know, I guess you may could have done a delete on the, on the lanyard hole and moved this back there. What do you think? Or do you like the lanyard hole plus the pocket clip? Um, so, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But this is definitely not deep carry in that, you know, in that regard. Fit and finish seems pretty good. I'll know more when I when I tear it apart. But, it, it you know, just on the face of it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty symmetrical. What's my lockup? Well, that's pretty good. That's 30 to 35 percent hardened steel insert, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, over travel stuff. But yeah, easy out of the uh, detent ball. So nice drop, very smooth, but controlled, not too guillotine ish. Ergos are nice. They feel pretty good on this. It's pretty neutral here, though. So you really don't have much to worry about. Mm, nice little cutaway here under here. So for sharpening purposes, you should be able to go back all the way and do that pretty easily and go around the corner. Actually, I don't see that that would be a real issue in any case. And uh, reverse grip's good too. So not overly heavy, not overly big, not overly thick great looking I think uh, this might be my favorite of the district 9 series and I guess I need to pay more attention to them but they're kind of a no name no, no nobody knows about these knives right I mean Riot made a knife called district 9 right but this is a district 9 brand not model um, and I think the first district 9 brand knife came out in 2017 or 16 so I'm not sure which one came first the the Riot District 9 or the District 9 brand uh, yeah, I guess it really doesn't make a big difference one way or the other but yeah nice uh, 
I just like it. There's just something about all these design cues that come together that really look good. You think? And that back. I mean, just uh, just so many things. Nice rounded corners, not trying to jut out or be a glass breaker or any crazy thing. And this, you're given a pretty tough tip, yet you got a hollow grind for slicing. That looks pretty good. Piercing, yeah, you could do some. Uh, not the piercing champ, and obviously not a slicing genius like a full flat grind would be, but still, it's just damn good looking. I believe so. And, you know, you, you get all this other hardware so you can modify it. You can do some different things with it if you want to pimp it out. And you're going to have money in it, so. So this is for the pocket clip. I don't know if I need to take the pocket clip off, actually, but... Uh, first, I think I'll just jazz the rest of this. Ooh, baby. Found out it's a 10. Wow. Well, stuck an 8 in it and just twirled. Uh, here we go. Ooh. There's definitely no thread locker in there. That was just coming out. Uh, okay. I don't know if that surround will just drop or not. Oh, well. Uh, let's put the number 8 on here because I think that's the rest of them. This is going to be easy to disassemble, or at least it seems that way on the face of things. I guess I don't need to remove the pocket clip, so for servicing purposes, I don't know that I'll ever really need that proprietary. I didn't get that all the way out. Or this. There we go. Finally. Didn't unscrew them all the way. So there's all the screws. And number 45. Okay. Interesting. So, and there's the screws there. That one's falling out at least. They're going all the way through, so I think they look to be the same length right there. Definitely heavily weight relieved in here. Very clean looking. Oh baby, we got free floaters in here. Oh wow. So there's the blade, and yes, there was plenty of lube on there, and it's probably also helpful to have it when your bearings are just uh, free-floating. So I'll have to place all these bearings. Whoops. I'll have to place all these bearings back in place and then put the blade on and then uh, all of them back in place there. But it's definitely multi-row bearings. So I got all these bearings replaced in here. Wow, what a pain in the ass that was, huh? Oh yeah, ooh, I'm out of this stuff. That's weird, okay. That's why it ain't coming out. 
Wowie. Okay, we're not going to do this. Can't fool around with the bearings, so that's it. It's apart. It's back together. Amen, brother. That's scary. I dumped a bunch of them and had to put them back in. That wasn't no fun. Number 10. Tighten it down finger tight. Let's put all these back in. Wow. Good to go. Here. And here. Okay. There we go. And maybe, depending, I don't know how tight I want to make that. Center back up. All the bearings back in place. Uh, wow. I can't remember the last time uh, I had free floaters. It was on something I got that was high end. And I, I, I don't know. Um, I'd rather have captured multi-row. But uh, for service sake. But wow. It's, it's nice action. Can't deny that. And bearings are not difficult to replace if they fall out and you lose them. Uh, you can get them um, by the hundreds on Amazon for like 6 or $7. So that's not a big deal. It's just a bit of a hassle. District 9 Battle Flipper. Good looks. Very smooth drop. Nice. Centered. Solid build. That's a lot of money, though, you know. And how many knives can you get for three thirty, three forty? There's a lot of knives out there, so I think they want all the money, even though they're not that well known, or most people don't know these guys very well. But I think they're there with anybody on overall quality and build. Just really nice. If you haven't had one in your hands, uh, then it's hard to judge. But once you get one in your hands, you'll know. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. The District 9 Battle Flipper. Oh, yeah. Yes, we like it. And you know what we do around here. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.